Now, if I will have told you less than two weeks before to the start of the season, the Minnesota Vikings would lose their starting quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, to a season-ending and possibly career-threatening injury, and then they'd go on to be the last remaining team that's undefeated through six weeks of play, you probably would have said, Luke, go home. You're drunk again. However, thanks to the fast-acting yet thought-provoking approach of general manager Rick Spielman, the team was able to trade for former number one overall pick Sam Bradford. At first glance, fans seemed disgusted by not only the name on the paper after a laundry list of disappointing seasons and injuries, but also the amount of capital it took to give up for the former Philadelphia Eagle. But after a little digging, it was clear Bradford had actually been living up to a few more rays of hope than at first glance, permitting he could stay healthy. The hype was real coming out of Oklahoma, where Bradford nailed almost 70% of his passes and sparked one of the most explosive offenses in college history, getting his team, the Oklahoma Sooners, to the national championship game. That season, Bradford threw for 50 touchdown passes and threw for over 4,700 yards and even went on a run during the season where he threw 25 touchdowns to just one interception. Fast forward through an injury-riddled career filled with a limited, and I do mean limited, surrounding cast of players such as weapons like Lance Kendricks and Austin Pettis. In fact, on more than one occasion with the Rams, Bradford got set in a shotgun spread formation to see the likes of Brandon Lloyd, Denario Alexander, and Greg Salas as his primary targets. And yet somehow with all of that, Bradford did find a way to win the Rookie of the Year. Keep fast forwarding, now we get to Philadelphia where Bradford seemed to find a little groove and finally looked like himself again even with a muddled cast that was filled with drama, thanks in part to Chip Kelly trading away most of his core players on the offensive side of the ball, Bradford still threw for a highly impressive 90 pass ratings in his last 11 games, along with being considered one of, if not the most accurate passer in the entire NFL by many big names when considering the combination of most catchable balls thrown and drop passes. So it's been as simple as Bradford was just on bad teams with bad weapons his whole career, and now all of a sudden he's got a few playmakers on the offensive side of the ball, and he's back to his old college ways, right? Not exactly. See, the team was forced to make drastic decisions and changes on the offensive side of the ball when their focal point, Adrian Peterson, went down with a leg injury. The team was relying on force-feeding him the ball, and although it had been highly inefficient, it was clear Norv Turner had no plans to stray away from it. Once AP went down, however, Turner was forced to change his power running scheme to a more spread him out passing game, but he, along with the rest of the fan base, knew he would be putting his quarterback at risk with a highly vulnerable and banged up offensive line. Wisely though, Turner has called vastly more plays than in the past that has gotten the ball out of his signal caller's hands quickly by using three and five step drops. It was clear this approach best suited Bradford's strengths, making it easy for him to scan the field pre-snap and find a common mismatch, and more importantly, deliver an accurate and safe pass. Let's dive into the tape, where I'll show you what I mean. Starting with a simple quick slant on a third and short against the New York Giants, North Turner does a great job isolating his best receiver, Stephon Diggs, at the top by motioning Kyle Rudolph from the top of your screen to the bottom, letting know Bradford pre-snap that the Giants are in man-to-man -man coverage and knowing Diggs should have at least a step on his man. However, this Giants defender, in all reality, does an outstanding job staying step-for-step -step with Diggs, giving Bradford an extremely small throwing window to throw into. After watching plays like these, I'm finding out firsthand why Bradford was so highly acclaimed coming out of college, as you just see the confidence to trust his accuracy and deliver a perfect throw. Turner calls a play that helps him avoid pressure by getting the ball out quickly, but as you see, Bradford knows with such good coverage, his throw will have little to no room for error. Bradford has outstanding mechanics with this classic over-the-top motion, but most importantly, check out the location of this pass away from the defender where only Diggs can catch it in stride no less and help move the chains. Just a quick slant on the stat sheet but perfect play design and execution helps move the chains for a Vikings third down conversion. 
The Vikings have been one of the worst teams in the NFL the past few seasons when it comes to red zone efficiency, unable to punch the ball into the end zone when getting inside the 20. In his first game here against the Packers, Bradford quickly tried to dispel that notion. Turner gives Bradford a high-low look, meaning his first read is up high the field to Rudolph, and if it's not there, he can go low with a short pass to Thielen underneath. But Bradford sees one-on-one -on -one coverage and gives his big tight end an opportunity to make a play on the ball. Windows get tight down in the red zone, but Bradford throws a pass high and away from Rudy's frame, making sure if he doesn't catch it, no one will. Outstanding accuracy once again, and more importantly, the confidence in his ball placement to go give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. It's no secret North Turner's ability to adjust to a quick passing game has been the catalyst in Bradford's success as the offensive line has been unable to protect consistently for more than a few brief moments. On throws under 20 yards, Bradford is nailing 71% of his throws while helping him try to avoid pressure, try being the key word, as even with the emphasis on getting the ball out quickly, Bradford has still been pressured on 35% of his dropbacks. But... Cool and calm, Bradford has found a way to be highly effective against defenses that are in his face with a gaudy 108.6 passer rating under pressure. A prime example here, as the Packers send a blitz with six men and Bradford has no choice but to get the ball out almost instantaneously and throw this ball while Diggs is still covered. Even so, Bradford finds a way to throw Diggs open by putting the pass where Diggs is going to be and being accurate enough to hit him in stride to help convert another critical third down, this time against heavy pressure. Well, you can't talk about throwing under pressure without breaking down this play. What will surely go down is one of Bradford's best passes of the season, and it just happened to be in his very first game as a Viking. We already discussed how little time the O-line has allowed their passers and here is no different as Bradford tries to freeze the linebackers and safeties with a play-action call. Unfortunately, it also allows time for a free man to disrupt the pocket. But fearless Sam, knowing full well he's going to take a vicious hit, stands tall and delivers a strike 35 yards downfield. But that's not even close to the most impressive aspect about this toss because once again, look at the accuracy with Diggs over the top of his man by just a step, but the back of the end zone in sight Bradford pinches this ball over the defender, giving Diggs just enough room to tiptoe and bounce for one hell of a throw and catch that displayed Bradford's toughness in the pocket. Wow. The Vikings have relied on a powerful run game for many years, and rightfully so, but in that time have failed to take advantage of open passing lanes deep downfield for various reasons. Here off a play-action pass, Bradford isn't staring at a wide-open man or blown coverage. Instead, Bradford just sees a single high-safety look and makes an executive decision knowing he has his speedster digs on a deep crossing route that now should be the time to try to take a deep shot. Bradford does a good job of stepping up in the pocket and from there notices how digs his defender with his back towards the ball. Bradford drops a dime in the bucket 40 yards downfield between both defenders giving only Diggs an opportunity to make a play on the ball given the safety's angle and the cornerback's back towards the ball. Another one of my favorites from the Packers game. The Packers drop extra men back into a zone defense, giving Bradford time to sit in the pocket and deliver a strike, albeit in tight coverage. Here Bradford likes what he sees, just enough from Rudolph on his corner route to once again trust his accuracy and squeeze this ball in between two defenders playing zone defense. A foot too high, too low, or too late could have had a disastrous outcome but even in his first game starting after being traded just a few weeks prior, Bradford trusts what he sees and trusts his ball placement enough to make a tough throw in tight coverage for a big gain. 
Again, last year and even years prior, the Vikings would noticeably struggle when getting the ball into the red zone, but so far with Bradford, they've already been drastically better. Here against the Panthers, it's nothing special. Bradford just does a good job of taking what Norv Turner designed and what the Panthers gave him. In this case, it's Rudolph on a wheel route matched up on Shaq Thompson, an athletic but undersized and smaller linebacker. Bradford is clearly willing to take one-on-one -on -one shots when given the opportunity. While some will argue the pass should have been thrown to the outside shoulder, Bradford's recognition that the defender's back was towards the ball helped him become aware he would not have to be as aggressive with his ball placement and instead was trustworthy of letting his bigger receiver go make a play on the ball. Wrapping up with one of the craziest throws I've seen in a while, and it's only fitting Bradford makes this throw under immense pressure, as that is what he'll likely be facing throughout the entire season. Against the Texans, the Vikings saw a blitz with a stunting linebacker, Whitney Merciless, which allowed them to get pressure in Bradford's face after just a few quick moments as Merciless came free and clean through the offensive line, laying a huge shot on Bradford. Similar to the throw against pressure to Diggs earlier showed against the Packers, Bradford does an insane job of adjusting his arm to the only possible throwing angle needed while leading his receiver in stride and throwing him open yards before he would get there. While many QBs would just be happy to get the pass off and avoid the sack, Bradford still finds a way to throw a pinpoint accurate pass against pressure that is safe from danger and away from the defender and only where his target can catch it, proving once again how tough Bradford is and how he's willing to knowingly sacrifice his body to stand in the pocket and deliver a strike. As shown by the tape, Bradford's been an outstanding passer this far for the Vikings and is one of many reasons they are the only undefeated team left in the NFL. His general awareness and understanding of reading NFL defenses, along with his outstanding accuracy, plays a major role in what makes him so good. But his ability to deliver strikes against pressure and be tough and durable inside the pocket have helped this offense grow immensely from just last year alone. In fact, according to PFF, Bradford is the sixth most accurate passer under pressure in the league. And with two of their starting tackles already on the IR and the offensive line depth growing rapidly thin, that is something the Vikings will need to continue from Bradford if they want to make a deep playoff run. For everybody at Cold Omaha and ColdOmaha.com, I'm Luke Inman, signing out.